hey guys welcome to dr belly's youtube channel so today i'll be taking you guys through my nyse experience yeah so here i was trying to check where nyse had posted me shy it was in the night and i was on call but eventually i found out that i was a lagos kappa well i was going to ocean camp shy because we were start trying to avoid um overcrowding it was during the covid 19 period so we were trying to avoid overcrowding in the camp so we're all even if you're a lagos copper we're like we're distributed from all these camps some of us are sent to ipadon oshun Ogun state and likes so i pretty much had like just three days to prepare for nyc so i had to quit the job and just have to tell the the hr that i had my nyc coming up and i had to this was me going to go and get some things at the market i ordered a lot of my stuff online anyway so it was just pretty much provisions and like toiletries so finally we're heading to ocean states yeah it was about it was uh, a five hours drive but it was fun sha because my driver was like playing very nice jams so all i was just doing was just relaxing dancing listening to the music and just waiting till we get to our shoes there was a lot a lot of traffic on that day but we had fun yeah we are finally in ocean streets we we're just looking for where the camp was it was easy to find it and then we got to the camp after the whole waka from one point to another getting your um your uniform well, this was the end of it, Sha. We asked to wear it immediately after we finished everything. So I was just sitting here relaxing. And then eventually I met some of my classmates, my colleagues from uni, and I was so excited. And then I found volleyball and I'm like, hey, oh yeah, I'm playing one sport in this camp. No way I won't be playing a sport. And then volleyball just called my name. <laughs> so this is us just sitting and watching one of the um much practice or the parade or whatever they call it sha. but this is the life of a doctor in nyc camp some doctors sha. i got there quite early so i was made the chief medical director of the um, camp clinic so we didn't get to really do much we don't i, I didn't match like i told myself i was not going to match so this is us in the morning taking breakfast and just preparing to start out start out our day at the clinic and we're just relaxing sha. yeah this is how we wait we sit around and just wait for any of our coppers that fall sick or need medical attention yes so as the chief medical director man i'm the last person to leave that clinic so because i got my own room bathroom and it was, it was really nice i didn't get to stay in all those hostels that had very horrible bathrooms like me and bathrooms <sighs> nah if the bathroom is icky i think i almost throw up so glory be to god i got a, a private room and a good bathroom with walking water closet running water i was i was happy <laughs> thank god sha yeah, so on me at um, the camp on radio station, I was invited to come and talk about um, health, health uh, topics as well as maintaining my hygiene while in camp. So, here we go. Yeah, so we needed to address that. So there's nothing like toilet infection. Just that point should be noted. So this is another parry practice. Yeah. So this is us coming back from Mami Market. I hated, hated the food they served in NYC camp and I barely ate any of the food. That's because a lot of the meals were cooked with fish and I hate seafood. The smell of fish alone puts me off. So 
It was my money. My money was just going shy. It was always mommy markets. Oh, I, I starved. Like, literally. And I lost a lot of weight in camp. My God, I lost like about 7 kg while I was in camp. Because I wasn't really eating. And I was just so energetic. Like, one energizer by moving around, walking around. And obviously, I do all of that. I'm definitely going to lose weight. I lose weight and I gain weight very easily. So. <sighs> Story of my life. So this is us, we're always dancing. <laughs> I was always dancing. I can never hear music and I will not dance. So we're playing music and we're just really having fun and dancing. <laughs> These are some of my uh, colleagues in the medical team. They were so fun and yes, it was cool. It was cool. Yeah, so another thing is I would always walk with people whenever I was doing anything. So that's basically where I go that's where else do I go to. So I'll always walk with people when I was trying to avoid any kind of harassment. So yeah, the baby girl fell sick. She had I had cough, catar, had fever, headache, I mean, even thought I had COVID at some point before. Oh my god, I was just sitting in my area. I did COVID test multiple times. This was me taking the COVID vaccine. So as a chief medical director, I had to be an exemplary person. So come and take the vaccine. Show everybody that it's fine. <laughs> and I did. So yeah, this is us practicing for our own medical team presentation. So like I think every team in camp had some pretend presentation to do so. But for us, we're like... I beg instead of coming to come and talk about some health issues which we have been doing in, in, in the um, NYC radio station, I'm taking turns, each doctor goes to the station and just gives some health talk. We're like, no, let's just show them that, yeah, health workers can also have fun. Came to dance, and everyone was like, really? They were surprised that we did something nice. <laughs> it was fun. Yeah, so this is picture day. So in the in the camp clinic, there's always a frame that shows um, every medical batch or stream that was present there, and then we had to take our own pictures just to prove that we were at the Oshu NYC camp. So this was picture day. We're just taking pictures, and then this is the frame when it was finally ready. Yeah, that's your baby girl in front <laughs> yeah so yeah okay okay so this is the last day of camp well it, it looked at first the first weeks like was so slow but the second week went like a breeze like it was so fast and at that time is when you're already having Hello, fun you're enjoying yourself and then the last day came when i've been expecting but i was so excited to be going home that your baby girl is very happy to be going home yeah i don't know who was i don't even know what i was saying here Sha, but they were just asking me questions and interviewing me per se about my experience in ocean camp and i was just talking and in my head i was like yeah i'm going home today yay i didn't even want where i was posted to but I mean, yeah, this is us going home me and my friend and our first stop was at cold stone i had cravings man i needed to eat something i had not eaten in camp all the while and i got good food that didn't have fish in it yeah my baby boo bought me some uh, welcome back from nyc camp gifts and it was really nice thank you baby and then this is me after taking off that uniform freshened up and then i was going to go and take off the corn rolls under that week i've had it for like two weeks and I was just bothered. I needed to wash my hair. We do my cornrows shower for Monday because we'll be going to our PPA on Monday. So this is Monday. Got dressed to go to my PPA and well, I was posted to the NYC. I was supposed I was posted to the Naval Dockyard in VI <laughs> at yeah, the Naval Dockyard Clinic. And it was, 
It was an experience. Now story for another Disha. But this is us just driving to the Naval Dockyard to visit. So we finally got to the Naval Dockyard and the yeah, parade show it was amusing to me. Anyways, it was a very, very clean place. The Navy people are very clean. Everywhere was spotless and it was sparkling. I love that about them. It was nice. They yeah, always knew it. This is my first day at the Naval Dockyard Clinic. This place is stressful. Like I said, story for another day I think talk about that because I didn't even stay here for too long man they were so happy to receive me and I was like wondering why I didn't know that it's because a lot of people don't actually come and present here because of their weird mago mago which I discovered quite late but that's the story for another day so I eventually got their scrubs it was really small and tight but I fit into it like I said I lost a lot of weight so we gotta do what we gotta do yeah, this is one of the parades at the local government. And then, yes, I got this really nice NYSE cap and shirt. It was so cute. It was really, really nice. It was nicer than the NYSE cap we had in camp. But I couldn't wear it because my LGI was like she was going to see it. So, it was pretty much just sitting in my house. I couldn't wear it. So, that's my whole N- NYSE experience. Thanks guys for watching. Please like, share and subscribe. Love you.